Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to Five Nights at Candy's Fur, a spin-off game in the Five Nights at Candy series, now officially part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. FNAC Fur was revealed quite a while ago, I want to say, like at least a year or two ago. And a couple of days ago, I know I'm a little bit late to this, but with the 10th anniversary of FNAF coming up, I'm working on a lot of stuff right now, okay, relax. To celebrate the 9th anniversary of the Candy series, Emil Mako released a legacy demo of FNAC Fur, which is what we're going to be playing today. I have managed to stay completely out of the loop with what is in store for this demo, so let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right into the prologue for FNAC Fur. <laughs> he looks so stupid. Oh, I love him. He looks so silly. Ouch! I slept so nicely that I fell out of bed. Again. <laughs> but what's this? Absolutely nothing. There appears to not be any problems. No problems in any place whatsoever. How convenient. That means I got all day to myself. Better to get to it, or better get better get to it. Sorry, Candy, I'm a little stupid. Oh, I love you, my babies. <laughs> Those are ties? Okay. I can turn on the lamp. Where's my bed? Here we go. No. I already mustered the strength to get up today. I refuse to yield. What's this? Not a speck of dust. Not a speck of not dust. Jesus. Bro, I'm dyslexic enough. Come on, at least make sense when you're talking, Candy. So we got a- Oh, We got a house, we got Cindy. <laughs> and she appears to be very upset. Candy! Oh, hey! It's my twin sister, Cindy. Candy, you idiot! You totally left a huge mess outside yesterday. What are you talking about, sister Eno? Your fur! That's the name of the game. It's all over the place, clumped up into big fur clumps. This is literally unreal. How did you even manage to lose so much FNAC fur? <laughs> shrug. Did you just say shrug? <laughs> it skips the dialogue. <laughs> this sounds like a big problem for everyone but me. Oh, Candy, you sweet, innocent soul. <laughs> what can we do to fix this? You need to go collect all your fur. All of it. But I'm just the spearhead mascot of a burger joint. I can't do stuff on my own. Will you please help me collect my fur? You make a fair point. Fine, I will come along with you on this adventure. Then, I can also make sure you don't screw things up further. <laughs> Never do that again. Alright, cool. Whoa. We just like fused together. You can now swap between Cindy and Candy with C. Sounds like a useless game mechanic. You're a useless, useless game mechanic. <laughs> All right. Wow, I need like a Saturday morning cartoon with these guys. <laughs> They're so great. All right, well, I guess let's get a schmoove on. We got our two portraits here, Candy and Cindy. What's in here? Oh, this is Cindy's room. Look at this. So we got her desk. I don't know if I want to do much peeping in Cindy's room. Why are you so obsessed with flowers? Solely because of that one minigame I had ages ago. Apparently. Alright. Seems like some callback to some past FNAC experience. Imagine being able to sleep all day with no worries. Yeah, just imagine. I'm surprised you even managed to wake up today. I'm surprised as well. Why is it locked? Why is what locked? The cupboard. What cupboard? <laughs> See, this is what I mean. I love these guys so much. Ooh, I can do some parkour. Oh, I got a hundred! I- uh, coins, I guess. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna give it to me. I have to collect it. Whoa there, Mr. Sticky Paws. Those are my hard-earned monies. I'm just borrowing them, you know, to fur in the adventure. Just remember to pay me back. Again. <laughs> got a couch. Sit on the couch. Nope, it's a very small hitbox for the couch. Here we go. Hey, Cindy. Wouldn't it be just like me to slouch on this couch right now? Yes, Candy. It would definitely fit your laziness. But we have a job to do. Yeah. Oh, he looks so sad. TV? Nothing. Can't watch TV. Okay. Clock? Seems like it's what? 3... 35? 340? Let's get to work. Oh, look at this! We're outside! Finally touching grass. Here lives Candy and Cindy. That's us! Oh! Oh, there's a furball. I went this way because usually side scrollers make you go to the right. Okay, it seems like we can go either either way. What's this? Saving. Game saved. Perfect. You see what I? You see what I did? I did that. Okay, we got a fur ball. What's this? Ooh. 
Oh, we can go down here. Nice. So we got a door. Can't go in the door. Any hidden places? Does it not seem like it? No. What's this? Kid in City's house is that way. Yes, I know. I came from that way. Ooh, who's this? Here lives Chester the chimpanzee. Can I go visit Chester? <gasps> Chester! What's up, bro? Hey! <laughs> the sprites are so good in this game. <laughs> hey, Candy and Cindy. It's me, Chester. Hey, guess what? What? What about my bananas? <laughs> Clever jokes, as usual. Only the classiest from ya boy. <laughs> On a non-joke note, though, I, uh, can't find my red banjo. You didn't yoink it as some sort of prank, right? Would it be a prank if we told you? It's just, uh, that banjo's like... A really big part of my image. <laughs> Theoretically, talking, it would be a masterful prank. But in reality, I'm very much incomplete without it. I guess we can keep an eye out for your red banjo. Candy, do we really have to do? Do we really have to? Just giving him what he wants to hear. <laughs> much obliged, my home slices. <laughs> I love the personalities of these characters, man. Any secrets in here, Chester? You just got a really nice house? Can I raid your fridge? Got another house. Who's this? Here lives Tilly the cow. Oh, Tilly. I think we saw you in one of the Game Jolt screenshots or teasers. What a weird house you got here, Tilly. Hey, you guys. What's up, Tilly? Not much. I was just literally doing nothing at all. Why? Have you guys come here to invite me on an adventure? This is kind of a two-cat adventure, sorry. Uh, you wouldn't want to be a part of this adventure. It's more like a big cleanup mission. Speaking of cleaning, I was cleaning the place earlier, like I totally do at least once a week. Totally. Anyway, I was cleaning, and I seem to have lost a precious heirloom. Oh my god. Can't you see I'm dealing with my own stuff right now? An heirloom? You mean, like those things you use to brush your hair? <laughs> that would be a hairbrush, dumbass. But yeah, nah, it's my golden bell. Like, it's a bell, which is entirely golden. It doesn't get more specific than that. We can keep a lookout for it if you want, but only if we get to ring it at least once. Sure, jam it in your ear while you're at it, haha. -ha. I don't know about that, but for real, thanks guys. No problem, can I jump down here and die? Oh, God. Oh, I literally can. Nice. Got anything in these boxes? Nope, and I'll destroy them. What's this? It's a locked door. Tilly's got some secrets in the basement. Okay, no secrets up here, definitely no key. So it seems like we got a lot to be on the lookout for. See you, Tilly. We got some coins, nice water fountain there, some more fur. Here lives Old Candy. Ooh, Old Candy's here as well. The word old has been written with permanent marker. Whereas, the rest is embossed in onto the letterbox. Nice place you got here. More boxes I can destroy. Hint, inventories. Your inventory is separated on into two item types. Food items and key items. Food items can be eaten to restore HP and grant effects. Key items are items of key importance and may be of use in the future. So it seems like we're gonna get some sort of key item, thanks to our friend Old Candy. <laughs> uh, what voice can I give Old Candy? Hey there, youngins! Here for another adventurous tale of mine! <laughs> get it? Get what? My joke! You see, I said tail because we're cats and we have tails. Anyway, have you two seen my lucky coin? I mustn't look it. I must have lost it a while ago. Sorry. In my old age, I'm getting quite forgetful. I can't say I have. Nah, you don't have it, my lucky coin. Don't try yanking this old tail. It's impossible for you to have found it. Hello again. Uh, no, but let's chat. Did I ever tell you about my battle against the dogs? Only a... <laughs> Ah, it was a day like any other. The sky was blue with clouds sailing across it. The wind was in the trees, soft yet brittle. I was on my way to see my old friend, Blank. But on the way there, you wouldn't believe what I saw. Yeah, let's continue. I'm sure you guys aren't tired of my, my voice. Oh, God damn it. Dogs! Dogs as far as cat's eyes could see. But as true as my pointy ears, I did not hesitate. I clawed my way through those sorry canine crooks. I must have defeated hundreds of dogs. I kept losing count. But when I finally reached my friend, the poor bastard. Ah, he was all out of breath. I could only make out a few words. 
somehow the boss dog has returned. The fiendish beast itself. The Mr. Beast himself. My old nemesis, once vanquished by my own claws, had returned. I knew what I had to do to stop him once more. So I continued my star trek across sweet hills. <laughs> Let's keep going. I crossed the great lake, but something lurked deep, deep within. The waters were infested, not with piranhas or sharks, but mare dogs. Those aquatic abominations reside in the water before they launch themselves at ya. Mare dogs? Did you make that one up in your sleep? Mare dogs, I swear, Cindy, they're real. Listen to your old man, kiddo. I could have never made up a creature so cruel. An evil dog mixed with something as devilish as a fish. It's already delicious. So what happened next? Luckily, I made it across the bridge with my tail still connected to my body. But now, hold on to your butts and do not fret. This is where the story takes a dark turn. Because there I stood, at the entrance to the dark, dark cave. So then, I climbed into the cave, down steep, steep rocks. Luckily, my jumping skills were unmatched by any creature. Deeper within the cave, I faced many tricky jumps, as well as more dogs to be clobbered. And yet, I made it across every chasm, leaving behind me a trail of defeated dogs. After clawing through the rubble and stone, I came across a big dog. Gasp. This dog was at least four times bigger than normal dogs. And what's worse, it spat fireballs at me. It nearly singed the ends of my fur a few times. The fight was intense and long-winded. I tried to ambush it from behind, but it kept matching my jumps when I tried to jump over it. I thought your jumps were unmatched by any creature. Haha! <laughs> yes, well, I couldn't let that big buffoon know this. Now could I? This is a long story, huh, Gramps? Anyway, in the end, I reigned victorious thanks to my quick tactics. <sighs> I was at the end of the cave. All the rubble and rocks had now been replaced by brick. I had arrived at the lair of the boss dog. The immense feeling of heat kept growing as I progressed. For at the end, there were pools of boiling lava everywhere. And to my surprise, I was not alone. The place was of course infested with dogs and mare dogs, just like back in the Sweet Hills. However, these were no ordinary living creatures. They had been turned into skeletons. Skeletons? Yes, my dear, skeleton, skele dogs and skele mare dogs to be exact. But did you think that scared me? Yes. Think again, foolish child. I jumped across the lava with platform to platform. I was jumping like I never jumped in my life. Clawing my way through skeleton dogs and skeleton mare dogs. They panicked so much that they were throwing their own bones at me. I really starting to wish I never began the story. But finally, I'd reached the end of the lair at the boss dogs' chambers. <sighs> I can't end now. I'm in too deep. Before entering his chambers, I had to brace myself for what awaited. I really wish I'd picked a less annoying voice. For what awaited me would quickly become the fight of my life. I have one of those every morning when I wake up. I entered the chamber. And there he lay, the boss dog himself. The sheer size of this fella, he must have been nearly 10 times as tall as me. He began attacking me, violently and ferociously. With my quick and precise jumps, I managed to dodge his own claws, around his own claws. And using the loot I found across my journey, I went for his head. Loot, what kind of loot did you find? Well, Sonny, the non-specific but useful kind. It made me stronger and more agile. Anyway. After a few new cuts to his face, the boss dog went all out. His claws were everywhere. He shot enormous fireballs everywhere. He even shot green lasers from his eyes. Lasers? Awesome! But even with all those powers, he was still no match for me. I finally defeated the boss dog once more. And so I went home for the day. You see, dogs like to think themselves superior to cats. And it's that kind of arrogance that blinds them. One must be wise and know who's own limit, one's own limits, regardless of species. Wow, well, what a story, Gramps. Yeah. Heh. <laughs> Any day for you two. Thank. Dog, it's over. I'm never listening to a character ever again. Ooh, I can't quite reach that, can I? Actually, I bet I can. Using my elite parkour skills. Oh, yes. Is that a teapot just for me? No, it's another door just for me. And this leads me to a chest. No way. What? What did you find? 
It's a yarn ball! How lucky! I bet it could be of use at some point. Ball of yarn was added to your item inventory. Can I kill myself? Oh no, candy! Oh my god, candy. I found a secret. <gasps> Ice cream! That's so huge! Let's go! Alright, next up. Hillary Hair. I don't think I've heard of you. Oh my god, look at you! You're so cute! Hello! Well, if it isn't the feline twins, by all means, do invite yourselves into my house. Think I could be a voice actor in my next life? What brings you two cutie pies here? Hello, miss. Has anything been out of the ordinary lately? We're on an investigation. Not the friendly investigator voice again, Candy. Nope, everything's always been beautifully splendid here. However, actually, I'll be darned. I do have one minor hitch. You see, I've been looking for my little electronic guitar, but feel like I've turned the world over twice with no luck. If I may, what does this guitar look like? Well, it's green, and it's electric. I think that's about all I know about it. <laughs> Got it, miss. Just sit back and let the professionals take care of this. I can barely keep a straight face anymore. Why, thank you. Wow, this is thrilling. Glad I'm just doing everyone's homework for them. Whoa, hello. Whoa, I found a secret, guys. Whoa, did you catch this secret in the FNAF for Public Legacy demo? Whoa, no way. Some logs. Who is you? Whoa, the bridge is broken. Wasn't me. <laughs> this is what comes to shoddy craftsmanship, I tell ya. Oh, this timber here wasn't even properly sanded, nor waxed. Uh, not to mention it was poorly struck together. Truly unprofessional. Yeah, that bridge sucked. Well, I guess I better head back home. Shut it, Candy. So, uh, Mr. Uh, name's Beaverson. Oh, uh, totally Mr. Beaverson of Beaverson and Son, Logs and Log Logging Inc. Do you think you will be able to fix the bridge? Oh, uh, the logs are all already carved and ready. All I need is something to string it together with. Oh, ball of yarn, of course. Uh, ball of yarn, huh? Uh, I've done more with worse. Uh, this will do. Now stand back. That sounds professional. Uh, she's all done now. Whoa, splinter me timbers. Uh, now if you excuse me, uh, my work day is over and it's time for my vacation. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye. I guess we can start our adventure. Yay. Don't worry, Candy. I doubt this will be a lengthy and epic adventure. Got a brand new sign. What does this say? Sweetsville. That way. Very creative name. Oh. It's one of them tiny dogs. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Oh, no. <laughs> I actually did kill him. I feel feel kind of bad. Whoa, that's a giant flying uh, chicken. <laughs> See you, chicken. Another chicken. Absolutely destroyed that chicken. What? Is that an enemy? Why does it, uh, why does it look like that, may I ask? Go away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Wait, what was up with that guy? And how do I get that up there? Maybe I get a jump ability? Looks like we're at a cave here. Oh. Okay. Whoa, okay. So those those fall. Yeah, I hope I get a jump ability soon. They do respawn, actually, those platforms. I hope I get a jump ability, because I feel like there's quite a few places. Oh, those fall really quick. Ah, <laughs> go, Candy! Run, 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 run! Okay, he's done. Is that it? That's all that was up here? Great. I feel like there's already a few places that I haven't been able to enter. Open that. <gasps> wow, look at all that fur. All for me. Nice. Ah, no, candy. Oh, I bet I can go up here, actually. Oh, look at the tiny chihuahua. Okay, that's rude. Sir dog. Here we go. So this is how I get... Ooh, another chest. Some more fur. This is how I get those. Perfect. I wonder how many furs I need to get. We're at 21, it's about to be 22, and I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. I think you turn angry. Yeah, you do. Oh god, you're quick. No, 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 no. I remember that from the devlogs. Go away, dog. What's this? No secrets right there. Ooh, what the heck is that? Oh, he's shooting at me. He, uh, hello? Hello? He's running away. That wasn't fair. What's up here? Big long dog. New sign. What does this say? Warning, wild flowers cut with sharp tools. Sounds like a job for me and my flower cutting claws. Okay, so let's switch to Candy, or Cindy, sorry. 
here we go. So she can destroy these. I honestly forgot I could switch to Cindy. There, there's something up there. I can see it. So we got to get up there somehow. Oh, here it is. Whoa, Cindy, look out. I'm really hoping I can get some hearts. Can I go up here? Yeah, look at that. Got some points as well, some coins. There's probably going to be like an item shop, not like from Fortnite. Though candy in Fortnite would go hard. And that's probably where I'm going to get my heals. Oh, there's a secret cave. There we go. What's this? Got some ropes? How to climb ropes. When near a rope, press up to latch onto it. You can climb nearby ropes by holding left or right. <laughs> I didn't even jump. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ah, no. God damn it. I'm not good at this. No, Cindy. Oh. Oh. I did it. I freaking did it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? Heh. <gasps> yes. Oh, Cindy. Cindy. Be very careful. Yes. Okay. Go to this side. Here we go. <sighs> Jesus. What is all this? Oh, <laughs> it's like a scratching post. Oh, nice. This is fun. Go, Cindy. Thread the needle. There we go. Careful of these. Because I bet it's just death down there. I was correct. What's this? Pancakes! This is huge. I swear to God. If I die after getting pancakes... Why do I need the pancakes? I got ice cream! God damn it. I freaking hate these ropes, man. Come on, Cindy. You got it. There you go. Do a little bit of shuffling. Come on. Big jump coming up. You got it. Oh, yeah. Pancakes acquired. There's a save point right after that. Amiya Mako, we're gonna have a, a, a word after this. I gotta attack it, that's right. The interactive buttons are like all over the place for some reason. I think that's my only major complaint about the game so far, is that the controls are just kind of wonky. I don't know, it just, it feels... Candy? We meet again. Oh, is this gonna be the rat? That voice. Could it be the rat from Five Nights at Candy's? There he is! The lad! It's me! Your arch nemesis and sworn rival. He looks threatening. Definitely. That's the word I'd use to describe him. Oh, snap! It's the rat! Aw, oh, rats. It's the rat. Should have said that. Look at him laughing. Right at the... Right on the snout as usual. You see, I'm always 10 steps ahead of you. <laughs> Just noticing. His actual character sprite looks even more stupid. Of course, I mean stupid in a funny way. I'm not <laughs> knocking the art style. I actually really love it. But the character sprites look so goofy. <laughs> what devilish plan has he come up with this time? I bet you're just squirming to find out. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. This game is so goofy. I love it. Hold up. Nope. Are we really doing this again? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, I haven't found a voice for the rat. Oh, whatever. I'll just do a regular voice. It's just, isn't this literally another typical uh, bout of good versus bad? Like those... Like those we've been through a dozen times already. I mean, he says he has a devilish plan, Cindy. Yeah, but that'll have to wait for another time. We're in the middle of something here. <laughs> but what could be more important than our epic rivalry? We're collecting all my loose fur. <laughs> You're what? You're more than welcome to help us. Otherwise, you better be off to save your own plan for another day. Oh, please let me... Please let the rat join my team. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Bye bye. Oh, no. I don't get to fight him. I thought this was gonna be a boss fight. Oh! <laughs> Screw you! I'm doing my evil plan anyway. Uh, what? What? This animatronic of death will make short work of you two. I built it myself from boxes of scrap. What's an animatronic? No way you built that thing yourself. Yes way I built that thing myself. And it's a true atrocity to the eye, just as it should be. It looks like it. In fact, I call it the animatron, oh, I see, animatrocity. That's actually, hold on, that's actually pretty clever, rat. Yeah, fool yourself now. Sounds kind of dumb. It says Mr. Sugar Confection. And now, to put the two cats, Oh man, I should have named it Curiosity. You know, because Curiosity kill. Oh, yeah, I get it, yeah. Now become gone or something. Oh crap, I have one heart. 
Is it Mario? Do I jump on your head? No. <laughs> okay. It was worth a shot. No, but what do I do with you? Oh. <laughs> I did, honest to God, forget I could do that. Looks like this animatrocity became... This is gonna be really good. Animatrashed? <laughs> good one, Candy. I like that. My animatr- My creation! No, that name's taken. It's another fanverse game, actually. If it makes you feel any better, it didn't really put up much of a fight. Though, admittedly, I did forget one of the core elements of the game, and I did die to it, if it makes you feel better. But it looks so cool and deadly. Ah, <laughs> oh, rats! You said the thing! Are the best, of course! <laughs> I'll get you back for this candy, and Cindy, and your little cat, too. Wait, was that it? <laughs> That's actually it. Wow, that was awesome. This is the end. Oh, no! Oh, it's the end of the demo? I guess that's it, then. Damn, I was actually, I was really getting into it. That one rope section really, really got me. That one rope section and some of the floaty, janky controls, really my only complaints with the game. Everything else is fantastic. The dialogue, the characters, the writing, uh, the action, fantastic. That boss fight was probably the best boss fight in any officially licensed FNAF game. Actually, screw it. Best boss fight in gaming history. All right, well, I guess that does it for FNAF Fur. Uh, hopefully, we get more updates on the full release soon. I was pretty disappointed when the anniversary release, like, uh, week was revealed and there was no candies there. All the other fanverse games, like My Pop Goes and, and a T-Jock demo were, were coming out, but I was a little sad that there was no candies news, but this definitely makes up for that. I know Emil's been super busy and, you know, obviously super grateful that we got this demo, but I am kind of hoping for some more actual FNAC news coming in the future, especially with FNAC 4. It's been literal years since we've had a last update on that, it feels like. <laughs> yeah, this was fantastic. Super fun demo, super funny absolutely amazing 10 out of 10 all around um that's gonna do it for this video thank you all so much for watching this video stay on the lookout for more fnac and fanverse and general fnaf news coming out in the future and i'll see you all on the flip side say goodbye candy and cindy <laughs> on the flip side goodbye